धन उदारंभ तबागत नवसाने उंड अभी कथा हो नहीं थी हेम ओवर में बाउंड्री आ गो नहीं थी मैं इतने अभी मूल ओवर दहाय दुलाह तरह सार्थक होना थी इतने पास से पड़ी पास भी हेमा थी अभी देखा उब दक्ष विधेर पीति करने ये ना ये वेला भी कडूल पीति करो अंट वा योग्य विधेर थी बुना दे कडूल ने वेणसा पुण्य मैदान ने पंदुआ रात लिया मैं वर्ण कहीं थी मैदान ने पंदु या वर्णन के या वो विधि जमा थी ये बोलो मैदान शॉर्ट बाउंड्री को मिनिमाइज कर एलियर बोर्ड दाला अंतिम वेला दाने मैदान एगोल हमें प्लान एगोलो हर एक्सिक्यूट करा एक मैदान आप लखनऊ गण बेर उगोल पंदी मेदी मुखदूनेता पास लखनऊ लागत्ता एगोलांग कर मैदान आप कर महेश मैदान पंदी थी अपे वेग पंदी सार्थक बेरे मुलिंद बउंड्री देख तू अगर तिंगा हर मारे पोडी ग्रउंड पोडी टोटल ग्रउंड अभी हरियट दान पंदेला हरियट हितला हर तंड दान हरियट में कहते एक्सीक्यूशन हरियाणा थी मत एक मुकद बैट्सम हरियट आप तम बला पंद अन्न वेसी थी पंद अन्न तेवागे मनी पे आप सहयोग दिन पुलवंतर आड़ लख संख्या थी कैप्टन प्लांग अंतिम मैच कर अभी देख मैं तरह देखे टेलेबून स्थान पंदेन कुशल <laughs> मेडिस्ट पंद तोकर Yeah, it feels great. Obviously, um, they've been played a number of games. New Zealand not picked up a five for it's really special to um, do it today. Yeah, I mean, what did it feel like today? How did you feel about the ball display? Um, I think early on we were just sort of trying to find, had a good length and and see what the wicket was doing. Um, and recently it's been a very good T20 wicket here. Um, there was a little bit of sort of slowness and and in, in the wicket early, so I think we we're just trying to bowl back in length and try and get them to play some tough shots. And I think um, you know as a group of bowlers, we bowled really well through that middle period and able to take consistent wickets, which means you have your eight, nine, ten at the end, and you can target the stumps a little bit more. And I can't ask the bowlers, but what do you think of past score might have been? Uh, it's a great question. I'm not sure. I think. There hasn't been a lot of T20 internationals here, um, so I think some, you know, with a wicket like that, maybe somewhere 180 would be a, a decent pass score. Yeah, I mean, 
what was it like out there? Good crowd, I think just under 3,000. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, a, yeah, it was a great atmosphere. Um, really enjoyed playing, and the crowd was really vocal and, and into it, so it was great. What were you focused on going into the decider? Were there any things you think in this particular game you could have done better as a team? What, what would be your focus next? Um, I mean, I think this was a, a pretty polished performance. Um, I think still taking some learnings from obviously just adjusting to the wicket. Obviously, Queenstown will be a little bit different, some bigger boundaries. So it'll just be um, just be making sure you, you clear and adjust um, to the new ground. Did you, uh, what did you take into this game from the first game where perhaps things didn't as a bowling unit go perhaps as well as you would have liked? Um, I think. On the whole, we were sort of just trying to bowl a little bit more back of length today, just restrict um, the strong shots of the Sri Lankans who were playing, um, obviously attacked us down the ground at short um, Eden Park boundaries. But I think on the whole, it was always just adjusting to the wicket. Um, guys were being very proactive with fields and changing fields, bowling um, to the side that hadn't had the big breeze. So uh, yeah, I think it was just um, some good tactics from the guys. Uh, Winning the toss, I could tell it really changed much out there. Was it a good toss to bowl first? Um, well, yeah, it certainly seems like it was. I think maybe after with the sun on it for a bit of that first part, maybe it just came on a little bit nicer in the second innings. I sort of felt at the start um, there was a little bit of slowness and like a little bit of nibble um, with the new ball. So um, yeah, I certainly felt like it maybe it came on a little bit nicer in the second innings. Just a quick scroll through your stats for internationals, ODIs and T20s, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think you've had four. So, uh, was five, has five been something that you sort of talked about? I loved it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you always dream of, of taking five wickets for New Zealand. Um, yeah, I thought as I had sort of three um, in that last over with a couple of the tail enders in, I was certainly <laughs> feeling like a little bit greedy and trying to go for the stumps a little bit. And do you, um, well, it's hard to say that they're inexperienced because the, well, they're expecting experience at this level perhaps, but you much to do with some of the other sort of pace bowlers and getting them, you know, sort of up to what's required? Um, but I haven't dealt much with um, Henry Shipley or Ben Lister, obviously from different domestic teams. But um, coming into this environment, those guys are obviously very clear and um, you know been part of the one-day setup in the in the one days beforehand. I think you know they've obviously performed really well and, and performed magnificently to get to this level. So I think it's just about relaying that message that it's just to continue to do what got you here. And you've come back from the injury, uh, you know, put some of well into. So do you feel we you know where you're at and you've got Pakistan coming up and that sort of thing? How do you feel about the situation for you at the moment? Yeah. <laughs> um, I just always try and take it one game at a time. I think you know I've had a uh, little bit of a, a pass with injuries and coming and going. So I'm just trying to enjoy playing for New Zealand um, when the opportunity comes. And I think you know having the tour to Pakistan, um, a pretty big tour with five one days and five T20s, would be a great opportunity to, to play some good cricket. Um, Sorry. You've mentioned those injuries in the past. What, what have you learned as, a, as you've got older? Um, what are the key things for you to go well and more consistently? Um, I think, you know, just trying to keep on top of the body, keep it strong and, and healthy. Um, I guess just being on top of the recovery and just, I found like more consistent in terms of bowling and, and playing games, the better my bowling gets. So it's just trying to find those ways to help keep me on the park. Um, whether it's just you know looking after yourself after games and um, make, maybe making sure you're not bowling too many overs in training. Um, I think it's just about being smart with, with your, your body, really. Nice to see a smashed bat as well. <laughs> that happen very often. No, no, I haven't had that happen often. I feel like there might have been a little bit of hairline crack or something in it before to make that sort of a, a smash, but certainly a nice feeling to break a bat. Were you aware afterwards how, how rare those fingers were? Um, not in particular like the overall stats. I know that you know Fifers, having played myself a lot of a lot of T20 cricket, don't come around often. So certainly something special to savour and you know a memory that I'll um, you know take along with me past my career. career. Just one more. Um, so you say you only take one game at a time, but I'm going to press you on this. Uh, Tour of Pakistan is a big one with you know the World Cup that 
later in the year, that sort of thing. Yeah. You know, like to achieve getting their bags. Yeah, oh, I'd love to be part of the, the World Cup team. Um, yeah, like I said, the, the Pakistan one day is a, obviously a good test before that in, in subcontinent conditions. So, yeah, as a team and, and individually, if you can perform, then you put yourself in with a chance to, to get picked, which I would love to do. And you've never, I mean, because not many people have played in Pakistan, obviously. No. So, you know, um, what would you take from being there, perhaps, and soaking that up? Yeah, um, I, no, I've Jimmy Neesham's played there recently in the PSL. Um, a few of the guys obviously played the, the test matches in the, in the one days a few months ago, so um, we'll certainly be leaning on those guys and, and learning about the environment and the, and the conditions and uh, taking it from them. Karan Kapuane, Karan Piat Light, Tienanam Tatin, Hilla Green, Electric Rechargeable LED Bulb Motoragana, Vitulibale no Metu by Hatarak Pura Delvene, Wasaka Wagaki Maksai, Eka Mobile Bear, Green Electric, Ratam Eliai Permitian Hilai.